Tras la desaparición de la banda Oasis, parecía que la mejor etapa musical y profesional de Noel Gallagher habían quedado atrás. Pero el músico se tomó el tiempo necesario para demostrar que todo tiene un proceso natural, que no vive de las glorias de un pasado, que su potencial como compositor continúa y el por qué es considerado uno de los mejores músicos del rock británico. Su primer álbum como solista se titula Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds, el cual reúne 10 temas. Ask me in a year. Sometimes, you know, like, I felt great about the year now and standing on the shoulder giants. But then I kind of went off them after maybe two months. So, but I think this record will still sound good in a year. I still want to be in a band. I'd still rather be in Oasis. I would rather this album be the next Oasis album. Because I was comfortable in that band and it was huge stadiums everywhere. It's fucking incredible, you know. Now I've got to start again. Circumstances ran out of control and nobody was able to stop them. And when I'd left Oasis, I only really thought about a solo career a year after. It's only my wife, really, who said after nearly a year, you're going to go to work? And I'm like, well, do I have to? She's like, yes, you have to. You get, you're annoying me. El cantautor británico no se limitó a la parte sonora, ya que de la mano de su nueva producción discográfica, al poco tiempo presentó Ride the Tiger. Trilogía que contiene videos a los sencillos The Death of You and Me, a.k.a. What a Life y If I Had a Gun. Los clips son dirigidos por el cineasta Mark Bryce, quien además agregó escenas inéditas. If change has to happen, I'm okay with it, but I, I never, um, I never instigate change, you know. If change is forced upon you, then I just go with it, you know. I make, make the most of it. That's what life's all about, isn't it? You know, you know it's like when Oasis broke up, there was no... I was like, look, if that's the way it's going to be, that's the way it's going to be. I'm not going to try and stop it, and I'm not going to, you know, cry about it. If you're asking me how the industry has changed, it's on how, where, where I fit into it now. In the 90s, I was in the centre. Now I'm on the outside. But it's cool, because it, I don't really... I don't mind that. I was in the middle of it once and now I'm, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I'm 45 now, so music has moved on, do you know what I mean? And music has to be for young people. I'm not expecting my records to be played on the radio that caters for young people. I don't think that's right. When I was 16 and I was growing up, I didn't want to hear records by 45 year olds. I wanted to hear records by 16, you know, by, by my own age group. So. When Oasis was at its peak is when it was meant to be at its peak and now it's finished, it's meant to finish, so I'm all right with it. Es evidente que Gallagher es un artista con mucha confianza en sí mismo, por momentos egocentrista y ególatra, que compone música para agradarse a sí mismo sin complacer a otros, pero que lo llena de autenticidad y genialidad, plasmando las transiciones en su vida, dejando en claro que no necesitamos ver los discos de la banda de Manchester con añoranza, y que solo son un recurso constante de su calidad.